Hello everyone, welcome to another little top 5. Lists do well on YouTube, don't they? Here I'm ranking my top 5 favourite levels in Fall Guys Season 1, starting with, as you can very well see, Dizzy Heights. Uh, this was a tough call actually, a tough call straight off the bat, between this and the Whirly Gig. Similar kind of vibe always tend to pop up in the first kind of round. The reason why I've gone for this one, however, is I feel like this is the level where you can get the most speed. Um, and I generally tend to do really well on it. I tend to come in the top three at the very least. So you start with the kind of uh, turntables at the beginning there. Moving on to my least favourite part of the level though. Anything that has balls flying at you, I'm not a fan of. That goes for real life as well. <laughs> if you know what I mean. But after you've pressed this bit, I'm all about the spinny discs. I just love them. Like, you'll see me now. I smashed this a little bit. Forward, forward, follow the arrows, get a load of momentum. Don't fall off because that really will ruin your time. Um, this bit tends to catch a little people out as well. The little jump. Don't ever forget that. You'll see that I nearly mugged that one off actually. I had to do a last minute dive. A uh, couple of balls to the face again just to finish up. Balls and humps as it were. Unfortunately, I get pipped to the post by the lion guy, but I just I like the speed of that level. It's over quite quickly. One and done. I don't know if this is controversial to put a team game in a top five list of your favorite levels, but what happens when you play Jelly Bean Rocket League? What more needs to be said about that? You know? Uh, the reason why I put this particular clip in, uh, it's certainly because I didn't win. Uh, but I've not played this round with so many people. I think this was a round of 20 people. There's 10, maybe 9 on each team. It was either 18 or 20. And it was just a bit mental. And it felt like a real tight game. It felt, dare I say, like a very realistic FIFA game. It's not really such a thing, is it? How they saved that, I'll never know. So we'll, we'll just move on to two minutes of commentary on this one, I think. I tend to play defense um, on this because I I don't like to be responsible for trying to score. I do it every now and then. Do we take the lead? Oh, look at that. That's twice. They cleared it right off the line there. That's amazing. Uh, when I too tend to go on attack, for some reason, uh, they score immediately, which I think is about to happen now. Obviously, diving headers in uh, Fall Guys Rocket League is OP. Both defences performing admirably. Oh, this is it now. Gravity, gravity. Oh, we survived. We did all right, you know. Oh, there we go. There you go. Gravity sometimes isn't your friend. Now, a lot of people have figured out this little bit now. That letting the ball fall. Thank you, PlayStation Access, for your tips and tricks because it's... <laughs> it's just caused everyone to do it now. Um, it never works for me. Especially in this game when we're playing like... Uh, one for the English viewers, but we're playing like Jose Mourinho's Man United. Everyone just parks the bus. You get nine in defence and just hope that you can catch someone on the counter. Which is... Oh, I missed a sitter there, my guy. Right. I sense an equaliser's coming. There you go. Let gravity do its business. Oh, game on. 30 seconds left. You already know the outcome. <laughs> I've already ruined it. <laughs> that was a good... Look, look at this defence. They are somewhere else, mate. Unfortunately, lobbed the keeper there. And they've taken a four, 15 second lead. And we couldn't quite capitalise with the ball bounce. And that cost us three points there. Relegation bound, I think. The blue team. Eliminated. Oh, look what I've put at number three. Oh, my goodness. Now, for the longest time, Slime Climb came up. I was fuming. I hated this level. Hated it. However, this is a level that really does separate the men from the boys and the girls from whatever they evolve into. What is it? Woe men. Whoa, man. So this game, even if it pops up second or third, this could potentially take you right to the final if you pass because enough people will get eliminated. So it starts off fairly standard, you know. Couple of balls to the face, never a fun time. Couple of sliders. However, for some reason, they hired Naughty Dog 
to uh, cover these little slide indoors thing because this has a proper Crash Bandicoot feel to me. The timing of it, I tend to just wait. Wait for that one to pop in. Go, 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 go. I would have, I would have gone then. I would have gone then. Maybe I shouldn't have. Oh, look, I knew what I was doing. So you pass that um, and we move on to the sliding floors. Trying not to get bunched by whatever they're supposed to be, the ring donut things. This bit is a pain. Run against, run against the thing because it turns. So you want to get past that. And then once you've got past that little bit, it's kind of plain sailing. These little hammer things don't really do a lot of damage unlike, they, uh, unlike their counterparts in Full Mountain, which will destroy you if you touch them. And then going back to the Crash Bandicoot, Sunset Vista. Past I got mugged. That's what happens though. And it tends to be other players that will ruin it for you. However, not to worry. The slime is still below us there. As you can see, we've eliminated at least 11 people so far. I think we were on 30 and another one's just gone. Anyway, you pass those. Move on to more ring donuts with slime. These... Oh my god! Oh my god, I'm so glad I captured that. I just about survived that. It can... I tell you, it gets the best of us. And then just a quick little jump. Get griefed by a cactus and qualify. Smashing job. That's number three. And now we've got two final rounds to finish at the top two. And... I'm not going to lie, the reason that I've put number one as one is because I took the crown. <laughs> Otherwise, I think Hexagon would have come at number one. This is probably my favourite finale, but I won the crown on the one that's coming up. So it had to be that one, really, for that recording. <laughs> there is a tactic for this one that I never employ. Apparently, again, thank you, PlayStation Access, if you jump slowly to each hexagon, it buys you more time. However, I like to do the little diving manoeuvre, which uses up the most time. It also costs you a lot. Now, I thought I was onto something here uh, in this round. I thought I was doing decent, doing the old dives, and then you fall three floors and you're like, okay, it's over. It's over. This is where some way halfway through I tried to employ the little jump tactic and then just gave up and then do go back to my diving one, which doesn't work. Another three floors. Well done. Why do I keep diving? I don't know. We'll never know. So I've noticed that down below is the final level and someone has taken out the middle. So I go, I'm going to stick to the edge and then promptly move back into the middle where the gaps are. Amazing. Incredible tactics employed by me there. It's not going to cost me at all. Go for the dive because why wouldn't you? And then into the pit. Eliminated. See that a lot on that level. I did pass it last night uh, and I won it twice in a row. I really want that trophy for winning five in a row. Got to two and I'm out. At the time of recording, I've managed to go three in a row. But I just, I can't. As soon as a team game comes up, it's over. It's over. Anyway, at number one. Jump showdown. Any UK viewers um, that remember Total Wipeout, the game show. Richard Hammond, before his horrific car crash. Uh, this, this is peak Total Wipeout. It's so simple, but for me... This this is this is what the final round should be. This is this is pure. If someone could describe a final round of this type of game show, it's Jump Showdown, and that's that is probably why I've put it at number one, and for the fact that I won the thing in this round. I've forgotten the name of the round earlier on in the games where it's you versus one arm, and the platforms don't disappear. It's fun but it doesn't do the job. You employ two arms, or four arms if you like, and then disappear in platforms. That's a winning round for me. And what I liked about this round in particular is that it gave us opposite sides. Usually it'll be two of these platforms together. But instead, I was left to compete with a guy and I couldn't see what he was doing. Obviously, this cactus is going to get eliminated first. He put up a good fight, but... And I didn't grief him, before you ask. We'll just watch this one play out. He's going to get caught in a minute. He's, he's losing it, look. Sort your camera out, pal. <laughs> there we go. He's off. Next one. No, he's hanging on. And then it's just me versus the guy at the other end. And it. I'm shaking at this point. This is tense. Oh, 
Nearly. Uh, he got caught on that one. He didn't sort his camera out. Right, me versus one guy at the back who I can't see. Is he going to make it? Well, of course he's not. I've already told you I win the crown. So what am I talking about? And he's about to get hit just now. He's off. No. <laughs> he's hanging on. <laughs> you got to sort your camera out, pal, when that top arm comes around. Otherwise, you get caught out. He's doing it. It lasted forever. You can see it. I was trembling. I really thought it was going to be me. Ease off. There you go. Okay, folks. That was my top five. Uh, I am going to do top five of my least favourite. Stick around if you enjoyed it. Give me a subscribe or stuff. Watch me get my crown a minute. Uh, this game, incredible. Love it. So I will be doing more videos like this. So stick around if you want more content like this. Thank you. A good night.